Like the smoke is clearing after last night's wild TUSD board meeting. Protesters took over with chanting and a smoke bomb as board members voted to drop the director of the Mexican American Studies program. Not in your side, team coverage begins with Craig Smith, who was in the boardroom. Guy, the TUSD board in January voted to shut down Mexican American studies or risk millions in funding after the state deemed the program to be racist. That left Sean Arce, a program director, without a program. But his supporters still made emotional pleas to save his job and the classes. Before this turmoil broke out, the TUSD board heard more than two hours of pleas to renew Sean Arce's contract and restore the Mexican American studies he led. This is the first time that um, I've, sorry, I've spoken, I'm sorry, at a board meeting, and I am moved, too, because of one of the people I admire most in this world, Sean Arce. I teach at Pueblo Magnet High School, and I'm a product of TUSD schools, and wish that, that Mexican American Studies existed under the direction of, of Sean Arce ages ago. Because you have a program that produces success. You have teachers who put in effort. You have teachers who actually care. Because honestly, I'm one of the few students who, you know what, I wasn't a good person. But you know what? Because I had good teachers like Sally Rusk, and I had teachers like Sean and Augie Romero. I'm here. I'm not in prison. I'm not dead. And I'm not serving jail time. Because of Mr. Arce, I received a fair and real education. Everyone outside, please yell because I'm hoping that everyone sitting up here thinks about all of us outside, all of us that are sitting, and all of us and all of the future generation and the community that's still here. She referred to an overflow crowd watching meeting video and audio TUSD piped outside the cramped meeting room. Earlier, activists passed out free burritos in a culinary commentary on board member Michael Hicks' appearance on Comedy Central. There, he said Mexican-American studies teachers gave students burritos to help build solidarity. After hearing more than two hours of pleas to keep Sean Arce's job, it was time for the vote, and the pleas turned to high-volume chants. Anything else, board members? No justice, no peace. No racist TUSD. No justice, no peace. No racist TUSD. No justice, no peace. No racist TUSD. Protesters brought plastic zip ties to handcuff themselves together. Their shouts drove the board out for about 25 minutes. When they came back, board member Adelita Grijalva said the issue is bigger than Sean Arce keeping his job. This really has to do with the entire Mexican American studies, the department, and the courses. Um, we've managed to disrespect the entire Latino community and made it about an us versus them. And, um, you know, we're the laughing stock of a nation. But Grijalva and board member Alexandra Sujiyama were on the losing end of a three to two vote. Miguel Cuevas was the only board member to speak for cutting Arce's contract. You know, if we're going to continue this litmus test, a majority of this district is not meeting the litmus test because a majority of the Latino families have elected not to put their families or their students in these classes. Moments after the vote, protesters donned masks and set off at least one smoke bomb. TUSD security did not force the protesters out. Soon, they joined the protesters outside. One school safety officer was hit by a water balloon, and at least one protester seemed to be detained for a short time. But we had no reports of arrests. Now, a lot of this is a reminder of an incident about a year ago when protesters involved in the Mexican-American Studies issue drove the board members from their seats then and chained themselves in place. There were seven arrests then, and later, Board President Mark Stegeman said he regretted that the arrest ever happened. And the protesters seem to be changing their tactics. After that incident with the chains, they did change their tactics. TUSD has started using metal detectors since then, so this time they brought in only non-metallic objects like the plastic zip cuffs and the smoke bombs wouldn't set off a metal detector either. All right, Greg. Thank you.